Um, yeah. I just assumed everyone. So I just started recording and I was going to post it, but <laughs> yeah. Anyway, a little humorous. Still letting people on. So this is the oh, girls parent meeting Sunday night, June twenty. Take a deep. Breath. I didn't hear that. Went out. No, I can't. I can't hear you. Let's mute. No. Are you talking to me? Yes, I thought you said something. I said, take a deep breath. We're good. Because <laughs> that works. Thank you for that. <sighs> okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Happy Sunday, everybody. <laughs> Um, yes, I'll delete the last message. I was just going to record myself and send it to you, but I said, oh, everyone forgot tonight. Anyway, so <laughs> our uh, cinematics mom and my husband, hello. Uh, uh, this is Maddox mom. Okay, got your question. Um, so I will read the agenda items and thank you for the additional questions that we have and we'll definitely get to all of those. Um, so our weekend in review, um, teams playing next weekend, this week's schedule, the summer schedule, tryout date, fall schedule, and um, all the summer camps and clinics, trainings, et cetera. So, and then we had a handful of specific team questions um, that we, we can definitely address uh, 60 lead. And then actually we have an answer to that question um, in general that will answer that question. So, and then obviously any questions you guys may have. We do. All right. So um, this week in re this weekend in review, we had seven magic teams playing in the die sports tournament this weekend up in Marysville. It was quite the hike, um, but the beautiful part was it was nice to be all under one roof, being able to support one another. And um, what, you know, I was able, we were able to watch some, some good games. Um, the boys fourth and sixth, the fourth, fifth split and sixth, they both took home the championship. So congratulations to them. None of our six, none of our girls teams took home the championships, but I will say there was a lot of um, good, you know, just a good moments, uh, individual breakout games, um, just watching some of the teams, how they're forming and just thinking and looking into how next year we want to, we want to put some pieces together, um, that makes it, make us, you know, even stronger and more competitive, et cetera. So it was just really good to see. Um, I, I loved watching all the teams, teams play. And it, again, it was nice to be under one roof. Um, next weekend, the teams that are playing are um, the rising third grade team, the fourth rising team, fifth rising team, seventh, our Blue Star Washington um, uh, High School Elite, and um, uh, Team Huff and Team Rice, 17U, 16U teams. It's the WCE tournament. It's um, it's considered a national tournament, but they, they have a stop in Seattle, so it's a pretty big tournament. There's over 300 teams in it um, um, from all over, from California, Idaho, Washington, Oregon, um, Eastern Washington, et cetera. So we usually use this, this tournament to as a warm up going into um, our travel season for our traveling teams. So um, this team, you know, it should be a great, great weekend. Unfortunately, um, we're, and then we have boys eighth and seventh in it. But unfortunately, we're, we're all over the place. The schedule's out, it's posted on the site, but it looks like we're all over the place this weekend. So, um, you know, unlike this weekend where we're able to support one another, it's gonna be difficult. So um, keep an eye out just in case the schedule changes. We'll definitely do kind of an update or final, final logistics by Wednesday. Um, because it is early and things do happen. So just be on the lookout for that. Don't don't um don't go by the, the first initial schedule. We we hope it doesn't change. It may not change, but um we always want to be just um you know looking ahead. 
but it looks like a great tournament for our teams that are getting ready to travel. And and um, speaking of travel, our our 17U, 16U, their schedule's out too for July. So we'll be posting that to the website, our to Mojo. And there's the tournament in Chicago, Kentucky, um, and then Florida. And then the other traveling team, Blue Star Washington, they'll be going to Chicago and Ohio. And then our fifth rising will be going to Ohio. So tournament schedules for the national teams usually come out weeks in advance. So we'll have we'll have an idea of uh, what we're looking at and who we're playing against. So be on the lookout for that. And of course, if you haven't paid your traveling fees, please do so. Um, it you know helps us keep costs down if we can secure things early, um, and that helps when you know everyone pays on time their travel fees. Kochi, did you have anything to add with that? Um, okay, no. All right. No, you did an excellent job of describing that. Any questions? Hi, Vanessa. So um, the seventh grade going to Chicago, that schedule hasn't posted yet, even though we're only two weeks away? It should be this weekend. So I, I, I was hoping to wake up this morning to it. So I was surprised it wasn't out. So um, they usually get it out by now. So um, they're probably just, you know, getting some last minute pieces in place, but that should be out um, late tonight or tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, speaking of the national tournaments, um, make sure you've done your NCAA. Um, if you've done it already, you don't need to do it again. But the people that are traveling in the summer who haven't, who didn't travel in April would need to do it. It's, it's mandatory and, um, you, you have to do it in order to, um, be qualified to play. Um, we had a, a pretty unfortunate incident years ago where you know we had we were traveling with uh, five or six teams and you know we we missed one and by the time we got there she we got all the way to california and she wasn't able to play so we want to make sure everyone has their ncaa and um if you haven't done so just shoot me a message and i'll send you a link um it's nothing on our end um that we can just do um you have to go on their site and input your information and they they send you through. I don't even know what it it is, but it, a, a a group of questions that makes you eligible to play in college dream tournaments. So please make sure to make that a pri priority if you haven't done so already. And again, if you've done it already, you don't need to do it again because you're already in the system for the year. Vanessa, can you send an updated list on who is not eligible, who's not done that yet? Yep, I'll do that. Thank you. Um, so our uh, tryout date for next season is August 28th. Um, Gia Droni has um, penciled us in for that date. They have not confirmed yet, but we want you guys to just um, have, as, have as much notice as you can. Our goal for next season is to field two teams at each, 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 each uh, age group and to, to uh, play in a, a rising schedule if you're you know eighth and under or play in a, an elite schedule. And then high school, you know, we'd have our team Huff, team Rice, but that's not, we don't really solidify that till next spring of 2024. But this is mainly for the, um, the youth teams, eighth and under. Um, the, the difference in the two, um, you know, for the, those of you that don't know, it's it's more of a commitment to be on the rising team. There's a commitment to traveling. There's a commitment to your training regimen. There's a commitment, just more of a commitment. Um, elite teams, um, may, maybe they 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 are not able to travel, um, or they're multi-sport athletes, or you know they they just don't want to travel, or it we just have a group of girls that fit that elite that elite program. So there's different there's different things that we look at um, when forming these teams. But 
we really would need to know if you get chosen for a rising team, if you're not able to travel, um, because, you know, we, we want to make sure we're able to field these teams when we commit to a schedule, you know, a year in advance. Already we know that, you know, in April next year, we have to go to Chicago with a 17, 16, 15. We already know in April we have to go, you know, with a 17, 16, 15. We already know in June or July we have to go to Chicago, Chicago and Ohio with a fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Eighth can play 15 or two. So, so, you know, just we want everyone to know as early as possible. Um, and we want to know as early as, as possible if you get invited to a specific team, if you're able to field that schedule. And we have the same schedule for our younger teams as well, um, who will be playing in made hoops versus more local, et cetera. So um, giving you all this information um, so you guys can plan with your families and decide you know, if, if it's a good fit or what will work best for you. And the sooner everybody knows, the better. They'll, they'll get the same level of coaching, same level of training. They're just taking two different paths. So um, any questions about that? For next season. All right. So next season doesn't officially start till the second uh, after August, after our last tournament in August. So then your child will be considered the next grade. Through the summer, they play at the grade they're in right now. That's the that's the AAU world. Did you have something to add, OG? Uh, nope. <laughs> All right. Good job. Any questions? Anyone? All right. So, um, school's out, I think, for most people. And so summer's in session. Um, we, we have our, our summer program rolling out. Practice, our practices will start at Sumner the following week, June 3rd. Please take a look at Mojo. Um, and we, we try to keep that updated as best we can. Um, we have our camps and clinics, 50% off for Magic uh, members. Um, and then I also um, privately train during the summer um, and my schedule's out. It's almost full, not quite full, but it's almost full. But I, I like to offer it to Magic members first and then um, open it up to non-Magic members. So if you're interested in getting on the schedule, let me know. Myself, uh, Coach Liasia, um, also um, train in the summer. And the trainings usually are at my house um, in Puyallup during the day or um, Coach E's house. But for the most part, they're at my house and we do more of the group stuff at Coach E's house. Um, the question in team chat um, was from Maddox's mom, just asking about the 60 leak and how it was going to be structured. And so, so each, everyone will try out again and we kind of hit the reset button in August. Um, for the most part, there could be a core group of players that stay together, but um, we want to keep rosters at eight to 10. And we wanna make sure we have a group of girls that can start and play together through the season. I know it seems a little disruptive, um, especially this last year, we've moved some pieces around. We've, we've, we, um, we folded a team and then ended up moving those girls around, which ended moving this team around. So that is definitely not a typical year. Um, if, if teams start in September, those teams should go through the following August for the most part. And then by August, you know, you obviously see the chemistry, the continuity um, and how teams are developed. So that's, that's how we'd like to go in a perfect world. Again, this year was a little different with a lot of moving pieces and different things that happen that force us to do other things. But um, that's, that's how we'd like to do it. We'd like to hit the reset button. We have a group of, 18 to 20 girls make two teams in each division rising and elite and then put them on a different schedule um, 
and 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 that's that's how that will go. So I hope that answers that question for the sixth elite. So another question. And was, I'll I'll wait for um, Maddox. Parent. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Yep. You said. Can yeah. everybody hear me? Yep. Oh. All right. Yes. Um. And I just. Go ahead. You're going in and out. Okay. So I just wanted to say. Am I? How about now? It's just because some people are going in and out. Muted. Okay, so can everybody hear me? I'm assuming yes. Okay, Vanessa gave me the thumbs up. But I want to thank everyone um, for for um, working so hard with the parking um, at the house. And I have to tell you, I truly enjoyed having everybody at the house. I could get really used to it. Um, and just a reminder that I'm um, we're trying to keep people uh, parking to the left side of the court, if you're facing the court. I think most of you know what I'm talking about. And then around the circle, um, but also when you first come in the driveway, you can park on the side as long as you're allowing cars uh, to go through. And keep in mind when you when you come early, and the other ones haven't left, um, sometimes we overload the the parking a little bit. But thank you, everyone. Yes. Any yes. questions? We appreciate you opening your court. To, to oh, it's fun. It's a, it's a dream come true to have the magic court. Yeah, it sure is. Yep. So we've added, um, so we, so everyone's practices as far as the third, fourth, fourth, fifth, fifth, sixth, seventh elite, your practices are the same as it was last week, which was oh. Monday, Wednesday, there's a 6 to 7.15 slot and there's 7.15 to 8.30 slot. Um, the high schoolers, the three high school teams and and the Blue Star Washington, you guys have a different schedule this week and it's on Mojo. And so it's not at Coach E's house. So please take a look at that to answer your question in the end. And we're one minute over for our next meeting. Um, our coaches meeting. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Any other? Thank questions? you, everyone. Leanne, are you good with that? Oh, make sure. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you guys. Looking forward to the summer. It's going to be fun. I'm excited, excited, excited. All righty. Thank you. Good deal. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate you, Lena. All right. Take Appreciate care. Appreciate you, too. Bye, guys.